Hello children. Today in EVS 1 for standard 4 we are going to learn lesson number 9 air. What are the people in the pictures doing? Yes, in the first picture we can see one man is pumping air into a cycle tube. In this picture we can see that a boy is blowing air in a rubber balloon. And in the third picture we can see one man is filling air in the tire of a car. Now let us see one experiment. Take water in a big container. Take a small narrow container. Hold it upside down on the surface of the water and without tilting it, push it down into the water. Now allow it to tilt. What do you see? Bubbles rise at once to the top. What does this tell us? Air is lighter than water. So air bubbles rise to the top as soon as the container is tilted. It means that there was air even in the container that appeared to be empty. There is air all around us. It is present even in places that appear to be empty. Now we shall see one more experiment. Take large sheets of any waste paper or old newspaper and tear each of the sheets into four pieces. Now place these sheets of paper one at a time in a pile on the floor. As the pile grows, observe the difference that can be seen in the layers of paper at the top of the pile and those near the floor. What do you see? As we place more and more papers on the pile, the sheets at the lower level are pressed down by the sheets above them. The distance between the papers in the lower part of the pile becomes less while the papers in the upper part appear to be further apart. What does this tell us? The nearer a sheet of paper is to the floor, the greater is the number of papers above it. It means that the lower layers bear more weight than the upper layers of paper compared to that the upper layers bear less weight. Now we shall learn about the atmosphere. The earth on which we live is round in shape like a bowl as you can see in the picture. There is air all around the earth. This covering of air around the earth is called the atmosphere. As we go away from the earth, the layers of air become thinner. That is, the layers of air closest to the earth are very close to each other, while the ones at higher levels are not so close. The air at greater heights is rare. Now we'll do an experiment. These are the things what we require for the experiment. Take a slightly deep dish like a saucer. Stand a candle at its center. Fill water in the dish.
light the candle. Now place a glass tumbler over the candle. What do you see? Soon the candle goes out and the level of water inside the tumbler rises up to a certain level. Why does this happen? One of the constituents of air helps burning. As it gets used up, water rises in the tumbler. When that constituent is finished, the candle goes out. The water level too stops rising. Now we shall learn about the different gases present in the air. The earth's atmosphere is made of air. The circle in this picture shows all the air in the atmosphere. If we divide the circle into five equal parts then the oxygen in the air will be equal to one of the parts. Apart from oxygen there are other gases in the atmosphere. Which could those be? The oxygen in the air is used both for burning as well as respiration, that is breathing. Which are the other uses of air you know about? This is soda water bottle. Now let us see when we open the lid what happens. Bubbles fizz out of it. To make soda water a gas called carbon dioxide is dissolved in water under pressure. When the lid is removed, the pressure reduces and the gas bubbles out. This gas is present in small quantities in air too. You have also learn that plants make their food using air and water in the presence of sunlight. When plants make their food, they use the carbon dioxide from the air. When you place ice in a glass and it becomes very cold, Droplets of water settle on its outside. It means that water too is present in air in the form of a gas. However, the largest part of air is made up of still another kind of gas. This gas is called nitrogen. Thus, there are several gases present in air. In other words, air is a mixture of several gases, as you can see in the picture. Do you know, the burning that takes place in factories, vehicles, stoves in the kitchen, etc. gives out smoke, 
This smoke too mixes with the air around us and it is very harmful for us. So children you must always remember fuels like coal, petrol and diesel give out smoke while burning which mixes with the air and this can cause many ill health because it is not good for our health it is harmful i hope so you have understood the lesson and enjoyed watching the video thank you for watching please like share and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the next video bye bye